let us consider another theorem, theorem about curl that is known as Stokes theorem. Here the statement of this theorem goes like if we have a vector v, if we take the curl of this vector and if we, perf if we make a surface integral of this curl, then on any surface this would be equal to a closed line integral of this vector dot a line element. This is the statement of this theorem. There is something interesting in here. If we consider a line, a closed line, how many surfaces can we make out of that closed line? You can see that on this uh, plane of on this plane we can consider a line closed line like this and we have enclosed one flat surface in here. But if we consider this flat surface to be a membrane and if we are allowed to stretch it in different direction, we can generate many surfaces out of this contour. So, this theorem would be valid on every such surface that we may in principle construct. It is a very powerful statement. Once again we will not go deep into the proof of this, rather we will see an example. We suppose a vector field V given by 2 x z plus 3 y squared y cap plus 4 y z squared z cap and we check the Stokes theorem for this vector field over a closed contour. This is x direction, y direction, z direction and we consider a line from here to here that is line segment 1 and the length here is 1. Then a line along the z direction that is line segment 2. then a line along minus y direction that is line segment 3 and closing it in the minus z direction. So, that is line segment 4. So, we have this line the closed line and one flat surface. So, we will verify it on the flat surface enclosed by this line. Here if we are supposed to verify the surface integral, if we are supposed to calculate the surface integral here, we will first have to calculate the curl of V and curl of V is given as 4 z squared minus 2 x x cap plus 2 z z cap and d a as you can see this uh, plane surface is on the y z plane and its direction is along x cap. So, it can be given as d y d z x cap then the integral of curl of V, the surface integral 
dot da this can be evaluated as integration from 0 to 1 because each arm's length is 1 another integral from 0 to 1 4 z squared dy dz we did not consider this 2 x because on this plane x equals 0 and this if you evaluate you will find this value is 4 over 3. Now comes the line integral. line integral over the first segment on the first segment we have x equals 0 z equals 0 and v dot dl is given as 3 y squared dy with this v dot dl on this line segment will be integration over the range 0 to 1 3 y squared dy equals 1. On the second line segment we have x equals 0 y equals 1 and v dot dl is given as 4 z squared dz. With this we can write the integral as v dot dl equals integration over the range 0 to 1 4 z square dz is nothing but 4 over 3. Third segment there we have x equals 0 z equals 1 and v dot dl is given as 3 y squared dy. So, we integrate over this v dot dl that becomes the range be careful this here the range of y is from 1 to 0 and once we perform this integral of 3 y square dy over this range we get minus 1. Then comes the last that is fourth segment fourth line segment we have x equals 0 y equals 0 and v dot dl that is also 0. Therefore, integral of v dot dl over this segment is certainly 0. Now, what do we have after adding all these up we will find that the cyclic integral the closed integral of v dot dl that becomes 1 plus 4 over 3 minus 1 plus 0 that is 4 over 3. What was the value uh, earlier? Earlier we have found that curl of v integrated over the surface area was 4 over 3. Now we have found that using the line integral we also found the value to be 4 over 3. So, we have verified the Stokes theorem.